Well, good morning. It is day whatever at the RTR. Very official over here, keeping track of dates. Um, all the little trash stuff from the install. I'm taking it to town. Since I'm uh, also one of the main reasons to go to town is um, running out of socks. And uh, I can't upload my video out here for some reason, so I need to get that up. And, uh, <coughs> and I have like three or four more to get up. Stop by the grocery store, you know, uh, do some laundry since I'm out there. All that fun stuff. So I was minding my own business, and I met this nice Canadian, eh, named Badge. <laughs> so, uh, uh, thanks for uh, offering to help me fix some uh, mechanical wow. stuff. Yeah, Badge, by the way, is a mechanic, and we might be hanging out after the RTR, yep. and he's just parked down the road. We're over here at the laundromat, by the way, and uh, comes up and, uh, you know, says hello and everything. Just the meeting point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the nomad meeting point. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The laundromat. Yeah. So, uh, thanks, man. Honestly, really appreciate yeah, it. No and, uh, yeah, hope to come by and hang out and fix some well, stuff. down the road there at the Bob Wells' camp down there. All right. Three miles down. Oh, by the way, I did a bunch of shopping. Uh, I got some cool stuff, and it, instead of tortilla chips, I got myself some uh, tostada uh, things. You know what I'm talking about, to make a tostada. I'm kind of excited about that. And I uh, got a bunch of pasta. Figured that would be a nice, cheap, hearty meal. And got uh, more polska, kielbasa, turkey, low-fat, you know, and then chicken sausage. So, you know, I'm trying to slim up. Summer's just around the corner. <laughs> Like to take it off. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Looks like it won't be hanging uh, anymore with the uh, schooly crowd. So uh, hopefully I'll meet up with Roll with it again. And uh, I don't know who's left in town. I was gone for a few hours, and uh, yeah, I don't know who's a, who's the last man, the last bus standing over there. Back to camp and the squad's gone. The schoolie squad. Hey, so, the hell? I'm still here. well, schoolie squad. You're the Jeep squad. And, <laughs> and we got the black pearls still here. So we're gonna make some uh, some breakfast potatoes. And it's about four o'clock. And I've been greeted by so many friendly people coming by and saying hi. So thank you. You know who you are. All right. A few of you guys have been uh, asking me to teach you how to make my breakfast potatoes, or just food in general. So. I'll teach you right now. All right, cook your red potatoes. I'm boiling them. I suppose you could also microwave them. Uh, first, saute your onions in olive oil. All right, so once you got it cooked potatoes, then you put the whole entire potatoes in here, and then I just kind of mashed them up like this and made them all home style looking. Next step is to use uh, some Creole seasoning. This one is my favorite one, and just gonna put a liberal amount on there. Just gonna, there we go. Bam, like emerald. All right, there we go. Dinner is served. Or lunch. I don't know, what do you, what do you call like a dinner slash breakfast? We got brunch, breakfast, lunch. Dunch, is that a word? <laughs> and this is what you got when you're done. Delicious potatoes, and we're gonna do some eggs. Gonna cook up some of those uh, five dozen. Dave, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, he likes it apparently better than Claire Bear. Guys, check out this awesome sunset going on right here. Um, also, I ate about an hour and 45 minutes ago. I'm cooking sausages. But I want to stop by and introduce you guys to nomadnurseadvice.com. Yes, I got it right. Yeah. Uh, and this is Bill. So let's ask Bill if we could get some off-grid first aid or... 
you know, so like if something, you know, if you break something, like say an ankle or God forbid something happens to you and you're all alone, how do you get help? 911. Best thing to do. Um, if your cell phone's not working, start screaming. Try and find somebody to help you. There's not much else can be done if you've broken a bone or something like that. Uh, you got to get help and get somebody to help you with it because you can't walk. Unless you're on a motorized vehicle and you can ride or something like that to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. A big concern for me here in the desert, though, is hydration. Um, one thing that people need to watch out for is the desert is very dry. If you're not used to being here, even in the winter, it's dry. And the best way to tell whether you're hydrated or not is look at your urine. If it's lemonade color, you're fine. If it's not, start drinking more water. If it turns orange, two liters of water right away before you start develop something called rhabdomyolysis. It's your muscle fibers starting to break down and it'll kill your kidneys. Wow. So you in renal failure, and if you don't get it fixed fast enough, you'll go on dialysis. That sounds pretty serious. <laughs> it is very serious. Now, we see a lot of with the um, illegal immigrants coming across the border. I'm an ER nurse in the state. Uh, and we see a lot of it with those guys because they run out of water. They're still out there for days at a time. And they end up in the hospital. And, you know, we pay for it. But Yeah. That, that sounds pretty serious. Uh, what other, uh, say, what are some first aid essentials to, to bring with you if you're camping or if you're boondocking or something like that? Um, I'm developing a um, Nomad's Medicine Chest for you. It'll be on my website, nurseadvice.com. Um, basically, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, uh, NSAIDs, of, uh, um, uh, Naproxen, that's the third one I was trying to think of, um, some Benadryl or something like that, different hydramine. I got a bunch of things. I went over to um, Dollar Tree and Blythe today and picked up $11 worth of stuff for a dollar a box. And it's uh, going to be talked about tomorrow at the RTRs uh, class, and it'll also be on my website showing which ones to use, when to use them, and how to use them. So 11 bucks could save your life. Save you from being in misery with a cold symptom or something like that. Speaking of colds, don't cough in your hands. Don't sneeze in your hands. Use your elbow. You never know where your hand's going to go next. It might go to your eye, and then you end up with an eye infection. Back to your nose, back to your mouth. Just spread the infection back again to somebody else. Always use your elbows and stuff like that. Don't sniffle. It's better to softly blow your nose and get rid of that stuff that's up there instead of letting it sit up there and get worse. Interesting. Uh, how long have you been a nurse? 27 years. 27 years. 15 years in the emergency departments. Wow, you've seen a lot. Yep, and I've worked in prison and I've worked in jails. Wow. So, all around the place. <laughs> Interesting. Minnesota, Florida, California, Arizona, Texas. Interesting. Uh, what, any, anything I didn't cover? Some, some, maybe something that you're covering tomorrow that we, uh, you didn't mention? No, those are the big things right, right there. The hydration is a big thing out here in the desert. Um, I see, I've seen too many people, even um, if you work out a lot, watch your hydration because uh, you're just asking for trouble if you're not mm. taking care of yourself. Out here in the desert, it's very easy to get over, over uh, dehydrated very quickly. And how much water uh, per day would you uh, suggest? I hate to say that because there's no way to measure the amount of water that's in the food that you consume. Say you ate a lot of pineapple one day, you're going to get, or a fruit, citrus, or those kinds of fruits and vegetables, you're going to get a lot more water than you would if you spent all day eating meat products, mm. or jerky, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Um, alcohol, caffeine, do not count. They don't count as your water supply. They both can make you, uh, they're both uh, diuretics, and they can dehydrate you. Um, the current recommendation last time I saw was four liters for men, three liters for women. But again... Uh, that's a variable because of the amount of fluid in your uh, diet. And uh, and what kind of foods you're eating, too. Yep. yep. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much for the uh, information. You might keep me alive one day. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. One more year and I'm retiring. Best way if someone wants to contact you for some advice. Best way to contact me is one nomad nurse at gmail.com. Awesome. And that's open to everyone who needs any advice? Anybody, everybody. It's a free service. I'm going to help you anybody I can. But it has to be through email. Liability issues come into question. And if I don't have some way, some way to back up what I've told you. Gotcha. You're a good man. Thank you for that. Thank you. Well, on that note, I need to start drinking my water because I drank a little bit this morning. I think I had a little bit of tea. But I'm nowhere near even half a gallon. So I'm going to try and drink as much water as possible. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to get renal failure. <laughs> Please. Or kidney stones.